They are bold, beautiful, and proving to be transformative. 15, in some cases, building-sized murals in a 10-block area of downtown Lynn. I knew Lynn is a really cool city. Uh, I knew Lynn from growing up. From Walpole, Al Wilson was inspired by other cities where public art has fostered neighborhoods. He started with feedback from the community. And that feedback was more public art. They wanted to light the underpasses of the MBTA uh, commuter rail. Um, engaged sidewalk space. His effort beyond walls aims to respond. The murals were painted in 10 days by artists from around the world. This is a piece by Angoria. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> ah. So, Dominican based artist, this was actually his first time in the U.S. The goal was to reflect the cultural makeup of Lynn. There's a sizable Cambodian population here, so it was really important for us to bring in a top Cambodian artist. This is the work of hip hop legend Say Adams, the founding creative director for Def Jam Records. He did the LP covers for the Beastie Boys, Mary J. Blige, LL Cool J. The scale of some is breathtaking. Part of our mission here was to make sure that you couldn't drive past Lynn, you couldn't take the train past Lynn, you just you had to see Lynn from a different perspective moving forward. Some of our local coffee shops have done three to six times the business that they would ordinarily do at this time of year. We've had visitors from all over the state. Several pieces of vintage neon art, antique signs are up. There will be a dozen in total. Also to come, a trio of dynamic light installations at otherwise dark and often unsafe underpasses. It's part of that narrative of if we can engage the sidewalks and increase walkability, we'll encourage businesses to stay open later. If businesses stay open later and they're getting business, that's a second job opportunity for someone that lives here in Lynn. The feedback has been overwhelming. I love the murals. They, they brighten up the city. Absolutely incredible. And I mean, it just, it's uplifting. I think it really has connected people, which has been our ultimate goal. In Lynn, Erica Tarantel, WCVB News Center 5. Wow.